Okay, so we're going to look at MEI, uh, the M1, and May 2010. And we're just going to look at question 5, because I've had a request from Will that this is the one that he struggled on. So, here we go. Calculate the bearing of the vector minus 4i, that's 6j. Um, but it says at the top, the unit vectors i and j are pointing east and north, respectively. So i is pointing east, and j is pointing north. So I'd get that set up there to begin with. So you've got that organised. Cut the calculate the bearing of. Okay, so we're going minus four i and minus six j. Um, so that's four in that direction and six in that direction. And we want this bearing. So there's my north line. So I want that angle there. So first of all I'm going to work out this angle there. So theta uh, tan theta equals the opposite over the adjacent. Therefore theta equals Degrees, therefore the bearing of minus four i minus six j is two hundred and seventy minus fifty six point three. There are a number of other ways of doing that, but that seems like so it's two hundred and seventy all the way around to there. However, I think your main issue was actually with uh, part two. So let's have a look at part two. Part two says uh, the vector minus four i minus six j plus k three i minus two j is in the direction seven i minus nine j. Okay. So minus four i minus six j plus k times three i minus two j. is in the direction, okay, and that's the key thing. It doesn't say is equal to, it says is in the direction of, okay, and actually, um, we therefore, we can't say that it is just equal to that. That gets us in all sorts of a mess if we say that, okay, but because there are many directions, many vectors in that direction. Okay, so if we say um, that it is a multiple of that direction, so to use some notation, let's say it's lambda lots of this vector, to use some notation that we use in uh, core 4, um, then we know that these two are equal. Okay? Once we know that these two are equal, 
then we can uh, we've got two unknowns and we can solve uh, two simultaneous equations one in i and one in j because we now know that the i components and the j components must be equal so we're going to consider the i component first of all okay um, and so this is now not going to be a vector equation this is a scalar looking at the coefficient of the i's so we're going to say that we've got minus 4 plus 3k equals 7 lambda okay um, and we're also going to consider the j component so this is not a vector equation we're now going to create another non-vector equation we've got minus 6 minus 2k equals minus 9 lambda okay um, and now we're going to solve these equations well um, I'm going to multiply the top one by 9 because I want to get rid of the lambda so I'm going to multiply this one by 9 and I get minus 36 plus 27k equals 63 lambda and I'm going to multiply this one by 7 minus 42 minus 14k equals minus 63 lambda I'm then going to add the equations together because then the lambdas go and I get minus 78 plus 13k equals 0 so I've got k 78 over 13 I don't know my 78 times my 13 times table but my hope is it goes exactly and it does is 6 there we go okay so I hope that that makes sense